it's our last day here in Bluff, and we thought we would do a quick tour of our RV. So I am standing in front of the cab, and because it's been so hot here the past couple of weeks, we have closed off this area. Um, so this area here, just using one of the extra curtains, um, and we have the regular curtain that is privacy, but we also have, what's, what's this thing called? A uh, windshield cover. <laughs> we also have the windshield cover, so um, plenty of privacy there, and we just got a cooler and a coat and a couple of things down here. Lots of space that we could store stuff down here if we needed to, but we haven't really needed to. Um, but like I said, we've been covering, keeping that covered just because of the heat. Um, and then we've also kept this covered also because of the heat, but I do want to open it up and show you what's here. So up here we've got um, just some stuff for storage. So we've just put Lexi's food up here. We do have more food. Um, under the bench that we just have been refilling this small container and then we've got this that we take in the Jeep with us and it just has um, some picnic supplies and sunscreen and bug spray extra sunglasses um, Convenient just to grab and throw into the back of the Jeep. We have the seat to our Jeep um, Back here the back seat we've left we've taken it out of the Jeep and put it into the camper so that we have more space for our cooler um, and stuff that we need in the Jeep with us. And then we've got our backpacks, keys, computer, some odds and ends, broom, um, hiking poles, stuff like that. So we, at, when we first got here, we did have a lot more stuff up here and we've kind of cleared it out a little bit now. Um, but we've been keeping the curtain closed because it does get quite warm. But. All right, so over here we've got our dinette and this side is primarily my side and this side is primarily Keith's side. Um, we actually don't have, I don't think we have anything in this cabinet here. So it's kind of a shallow cabinet. Um, would be good for lots of different things, but we just actually haven't even needed all the space um, that we have in here. And these two cabinets, kind of the same thing. It looks like it's full, um, but these containers are completely empty. Um, this one has, uh, the middle one has medical supplies in it. That's a really big space but I'm just not quite sure how to use it yet um, or what we even need to put there. So it's nice to have the extra space though. And then um, underneath the seats, we also have storage space. So under this seat is, um, what is under there? Um, lanterns and a small space heater, um, stuff like that that we just have kept in here. And jumper cables. Jumper cables. Um, on this side, um, as shoes and that's pretty much it. There's not much in there. Moving over to the, the couch area. Um, we, I, we bought this ottoman mainly because Lexi likes to sit um, in a hammock. She likes for us to put our feet out and then to use the blanket and that's where she likes to lay. So she's used to that at home so we found this storage ottoman at Walmart for like $50. Um, so we bought that and then it also has um, some of her food, an extra blanket, um, beach towel, and then that's normally where I have the crock pot, um, but I've been using the crock pot today, so the crock pot's out. One thing that I loved was that it had a leather couch. I did not want a fabric couch, so I was glad that it had a leather couch in it, um, but it doesn't have any arms on the end, so we got a couple of pillows. Um, these are indoor-outdoor pillows, uh, like patio pillows. I figured that way they'd be really easy to clean and they can kind of be used inside or outside for a variety of things. Um, starting here, I kind of have started with kitchen, kitchen stuff. So because we have already been here for a month, a lot of this is empty, but there were granola bars and things in here. Now it's just tea. Um, I started to pack things up today. So lots of like little containers that we might need. Um, this is like a dish rack. There's nothing even in there. Um, when we, moved um, from Indiana to Utah and we were clearing things out. A lot of the storage containers and stuff like that I kept because you don't know when you're going to use them. So I've kind of put them all into the camper and half of them we haven't even used, but we've got them if we need them. Um, over here we've got extra Tupperware, uh, spices, and then this has some more spices and nuts and stuff like that in it. And then as I was saying, I've been using the crock pot. This is the first time that I made spaghetti in the crock pot and it's turned out pretty good. We are leaving here tomorrow 
and we went ahead and cooked food, even though we're going to go out tonight. Um, we went ahead and cooked food so that we'll have food tomorrow for lunch or for dinner and we won't have to worry about making anything. Um, drawers. I was happy that the camper had drawers. I much prefer drawers to cabinets. So we've got silverware and extra knives, um, extra towels and wash rags. Here we've got utensils. Those are pretty deep drawers. Um, here we've got just like Reynolds wrap and press and seal, Ziploc bags, stuff like that. And the bottom one, and this is the only, I think the only glass container that I brought. Um, so I kind of have it down here with some towels and stuff. Under the sink, uh, we did have, we did have to replace our faucet. So we wanted to make sure that it didn't get wet down there again. So we have a tub that has um, some cleaning supplies and garbage bags, stuff like that down there. So that was full, fuller earlier. Um, in these two cabinets, we've got um, plates and cutting boards, stuff like that. We've got some food here, so this will all come out when we go back home. Um, coffee stuff and some um, cups there. In this cabinet, this is a huge cabinet, and as you can see, I've barely even used any of it, and I have um, the pots and pans inside there right now, which normally the one pot sits out and we use. We got some oatmeal and oh, stuff back there. Oh, I need in that cabinet. I'm going there next. I'm going there next. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Come here, Lexi. <laughs> um, so we've got our microwave works really well and our stove um, works really well. We've not used the oven. Um, we did have a three burner stove and an oven, probably the exact same thing in our um, high wall pop-up camper. I think we used the oven there once, so we'll see if we use it or not. But I typically cook everything on the stove top, um, crock pot, or the grill outside. All right, gotta move. You gonna move? You gonna move? <laughs> not budging. All Come right. on, Lexi, um, there's here. in that cabinet. There's just um, some pantry items. Come on, no, <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> um, garbage can fits really nice here. This is the slide in, so um, everything that is from here to the stove, um, this will all slide in. So it's a pretty big slide out, and everything kind of fits perfectly here. Love our refrigerator and freezer. I had this packed with food, uh, meat for the whole month, and I think the only meat that we bought was one package of pork chops and then um, a three pound pack of ground beef that I split into two containers. And we've still got um, bacon and chicken and ground beef and fish left. So for a month we were able to fit everything in there that we needed. Um, and we only ate out a few times this whole trip. so. Um, we do always try to use ice packs in our coolers instead of ice. It's just uh, less messy. And <laughs> I don't really want to open this because there's not much in it. Um, so this was, this actually was not even packed full when we um, came down here. I had lots of fruits and vegetables that didn't need refrigeration because I was afraid that if we didn't have space for them, um, then they would go to waste. So it actually wasn't even full. I have some pictures, I think, from when we... We did, um, it's been over 100 degrees here, more like probably 110 for the past about two weeks. So it's been really hot. And we did notice that our refrigerator was not quite as cold as we wanted it to be. Um, so Keith did a couple little things to check on that. And then one thing that he did was to um, spray out or to use air, air out the um, outside vent. And when he did that, we didn't think about the mess that it might make inside. So last night, I think it was last night, I went to look into this drawer. Um, this is a huge drawer, but the, it's not very sturdy. So I've mostly put Tupperware here and you can see how dirty um, all of the dust came in. So I haven't even touched this. When we get back home, since we're leaving tomorrow, when we get back home, I'm gonna just take everything out 
of there, take it into the house, put it in the dishwasher. All right, so just a quick, um, with our entry, starting at the top, we've got a small shelf here that works perfect for Lexi stuff. And here we've got the controls for our slide in, slide outs, um, and then the buttons to check our tanks and stuff here. Um, and then the buttons to turn on our water heater, water pump, generator, battery, um, all of that stuff. So moving on back, one of the reasons that we picked this layout um, was because it worked for Keith's, Keith to be working. And um, we've been able to set up his office here without really doing too much, um, without really doing any damage to the camper, just um, one hole that was drilled here. Also liked how it this part is kind of separated. So instead of it being totally open, there's a little bit of separation here. That way I can be cooking or um, in this area and it's still away from him enough. And we had thought that if this wasn't enough, then we could um, close this off with a curtain or something like that, but it's worked out really well so far. Um, so on this side, we've got a couple of cabinets here. So we just got some water bottles and some random stuff, sunscreen, uh, bug spray, stuff like that. And the bottom one has just been paper towels and toilet paper, and we planned just about right for a trip. Um, had that full. So, so we did get the bunkhouse model, and this bunkhouse actually had the two-person dinette here. Um, so as I was saying, the only thing that Keith did was drill a hole here to be able to um, mount his monitors, and then this is where he sits and works. There's also storage, so he's got his computer equipment um, on this side and a fan, and then on the other side we've had like some bottled water and Gatorade, I think we've used up all the Gatorade, um, his biking shoes, helmets, stuff like that. Um, but that was, and then, so this is actually a bed um, that would, that could come down to have bunk beds. This also then makes into a bed. So the biggest part underneath the table is actually Lexi's bed. So she will most of the time sit under there if we tell her that she needs to go to work. Usually she'll go sit under his desk. So she knows that that's work. That's where you work at. Um, on this side we have our bathroom. So it is all enclosed in one, which works out really well for us. Um, when we bought it, it had a tile rack here, which has been nice. And um, this, this is crooked. It came like that, we haven't fixed it yet. Um, but it does have a lot of storage, lots of storage here and here. It's not even full, um, drawer, cabinet. So there is a lot of storage in here. It feels a little bit small sometimes when you're in here, but it's really just about right. And so we're debating on if we like the shower curtain or if we want to try to do a shower door or if we want to change out the rod and have it be one of the extendable rods. So we're not really sure what we prefer, but it's worked, worked really well. Um, we did install these clips for like a couple of bucks and this, the shower curtain will just clip into there to help seal it. And I have never seen any water outside the shower. So um, and Keith's shaking his head, so he's not either. So that's worked really well. Um, but as I was saying before, one of the things that we um, liked about, about Keith being able to work from the RV and having the option to possibly close off the living room kitchen area, the same is true for the bedroom. So there is an actual door, uh, pocket door here that slides out. Uh, so if, if in the morning while he is getting ready for work or is working, um, if that would have been an issue with noise or anything, then we could close that, but we've actually never even needed it. Um, this is our bedroom. It's not huge, but it's not small. Um, it has tons of storage. So these cabinets up here have towels. Um, up here they lift up and these lift up and we've got towels and beach towels, an extra comforter, 
Um, over the, on this side, we've got more beach towels, extra pillows, more bedding. Um, I brought two complete sets of bedding just in case one was dirty and we wanted to swap it out without having to go to the laundry. I love about the camper is um, the closet storage. So this side is Keith's side and this side is my side. Um, he's got a little bit of other storage stuff here um, and we've been charging batteries and stuff in here and then he's got three drawers for um, clothes and then mine is basically the same um, but and I've had plenty of closet space and I brought jeans and capris and like dressier shorts and sweatshirts and I have not even worn half of this we have done laundry a couple of times um, speaking of laundry we have a couple of different baskets over here that have laundry in them and then I've got just some other storage baskets back here uh, for the grocery store and just things that we use. We bought the camper. We bought it from a, it was a rental, so they did replace the bed and they replaced a few things for us before they sold it to us. Um, so it does have a brand new mattress on it. And then we also bought a memory foam topper um, that we have on it and it's been pretty comfortable. Um, and so we did upgrade that and then we did, um, whoops, I didn't grab it. <laughs> um, we do have storage under here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get any of this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and there's a bag here and then a laundry basket there. Everything's completely empty. There's really nothing down there. So we did have some stuff down there when we um, started our trip, but that was all stuff that ended up being put away. She's being very protective of that food. <laughs> we turned the we turned the air conditioner off for a little bit to do this video, and it's over 100 degrees outside again, so it immediately gets warm in here, and she doesn't do so well with the heat. Lexi, that is. Uh, so. Me neither. Yeah, or Lindsay. So she's uh, cowered down, trying to stay cool on the floor. We've been very happy with the choice that we made um, in the camper that we bought. It is a 2012 Tioga Ranger, um, 31, 32 foot, um, with the two slide outs and with the bunkhouse. We hope that you've enjoyed the tour and have found some of the information valuable. I know one of the biggest things that we did when we were um, learning about an RV that might work for us as we watched lots of videos online um, from other people to see what it to see their thought process and what they were looking for um, and that helped us to figure out what was going to work best for us and just things that we needed to think about.